Yo, bitch on my dick, cause she know that she know that she know that she fuckin' with us. I ride now, 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 I Wait till get it, baby. Call it up in that black Mercedes. Fold door with them extendos for them little niggas that be like crazy. It's the type of shit niggas live for. Motherfuckers just move a lazy. Hey guys, it's your girl, Big Dreamer. Welcome to the red carpet interview with Love and Fashion. You can check us out on www.lnfpics.com. We have in the building that boy is 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 Hey. Hey, 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 now. What's good? So we're What's here. What's going on? Nothing much, you know. We're here. Want to get some information on you? Welcome back. Hello, info. Welcome back. Share. Yeah, I want to know you. a little I bit more about. It. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. No, I want to know some information about you. Like, um, can you tell us like your backstory? Like, what got you to where you are now? And like the whole situation with you getting locked up. Oh, well, as far as me um doing music and getting into the whole entertainment business type situation, you know, I've been doing music on my go for a long time. Um, bro? I'm Fred the Garcia. Okay, cool. You know you what I'm saying? Your video. Yeah, exactly. So, we've been running around with him and we've been getting to it. You know, it was just something I caught a liking to. Okay. You know what I mean? I felt like I could, I had what it takes to, just to do it. At first, I was doing it for fun. Okay. I've only been rapping for about three years. Three years? Well, I'm yeah, not three back four years. years. Okay. Hold on. 2005. Nice. Just came in 18, but now nah, I'm doing it here, so. I like I just caught a liking to it, you know what I mean? And it was just saying I'm always around it, you know what I mean? I always play a lot of people probably see me and I've always been playing the back and you know what I mean helping out all the time and once I got on board with it, it was just like when I wanted to do it for myself, I just took it serious. You know what I mean? From there it was just like go time, you know what I mean? Um been in been in situations like right right before right when I started when I started rapping I got I probably got locked up like fucking two months after that on okay. my first bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I'm getting, just getting caught up in the streets, trying to maintain shit, and you get you get you get side blocked, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it happens, you know. What I mean? You just gotta. I don't regret nothing. Okay. At all, you know what I'm saying? It's just how it's long were you in there for? Life. On my first bit in Connecticut, I was only in there for a year. Oh, so you was out in Connecticut. Yeah, my first bed in Connecticut in 2014, I was, uh, 2013, I got locked up for a year, I came back on in 2014. Okay, so you know the same when they say that, like, sometimes when you're, on your, when you're down and your friends, like, you know, they're really not there for you, and then when you're up, they're all there. But you're getting locked up, like, that you see, like, a lot of friends who, did you see who your real friends were versus the people who you thought would be, like, there for you, who were not there for you? Well, she... Well, the kind of lifestyle I come from and my, my, my pretty much background, I don't really, I don't see a lot of people as friends that I, that a lot of people would see as friends, you know okay. what I'm saying? Because only because of the lifestyle I'm in, it's like either you family or okay. it's just like you just an associate. Okay. You know what I mean? And being I'm just doing business. I yeah, you just, you just somebody that I'm doing business with, I'm just associate. Besides that, you family. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You having friends is like people use the friend thing so much, and it's like sometimes that's that's the problem right there. You mm -hmm. quick as hell call anybody your friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when I got locked up, the only people I really needed to reach out to was my family. Okay. My people, that's my brothers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just pretty much what it was. You know what I'm saying? So that that's pretty much what it is. You don't have no doubt when you're in that type of situation. Everybody can look at you and say you in a club and you rap, you out here in a club with a thousand people, you out here doing this, you can't call nobody up, but it's like, don't even stress yourself out, don't, don't, don't put yourself in a situation and you, 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 you getting tight because these people ain't looking for respect that I actually got locked up a couple of days before Christmas, I just came back from Christmas shopping. What did you get locked up for? Uh, I just had a warrant in Connecticut for fraud. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, that was, um... I had a warrant, but I was in New York. We had to expedite me to Connecticut. So you yeah, ain't. It's like you don't. I tell you about that. Don't, don't. Just look for your family. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if you could do that, you know what I mean. These people that you're around. A lot of people I'm around. You might see me with them, and I'm. It's like yo, it's love. These are my niggas. But a lot of people is just associates when mm -hmm. it comes down to hit the fan. Like you can't just. And when that goes down and shame, then then you have something to be mad about. You feel mm -hmm. me? I got like I got a lot of people that that's not blood, but they my family. You okay. feel me? Like there's really no friends. It's, it's just like we mm -hmm. really family. I can agree with that. You know what I'm saying? So that is pretty much what it is. 
Okay. So talking about clubs, like when you go to clubs, is it hard because I know that you have DJ self. Um, I believe Drewski, like a lot of these DJs who support you and play your music on the radio. Shout do out you to have, the boys. Right. Do you have like other people who support you that you that are? My question is, um, is it hard for you to get support from like DJs when you go to these clubs and you're meeting people? Is even because I know you like you know these big DJs and you know some artists in the industry. Mm -hmm. So I would guess that people will want to support you since they're supporting you. You know. Yeah. Well. It, is, it it does it does it does be hard. It, it, it's very hard. You know you can't look at it like, cause when I started doing music, when I started doing music, I came in and I knew these people already. So okay. they already had a relationship with them. Okay. You feel me? Like especially self. Self is one of the good. I, I mess with self. You know what I mean? Especially self. So it's just that now he needs to like. I'm not gonna force. Uh, I need him to respect me as an artist. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have these people respect you as an artist before anything. Like, right. you know what I mean? Let them respect your grind. Let them respect with the type of music that you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And once you get that situated, then you can sit there and be like, yo, play my shit. Mm -hmm. But you gotta make somebody do that. A lot of people get one song and they think they're a rapper and they jump out the window like, yo, play my shit, yo, we late. Yeah. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? If you look at all my songs, that's on my tape. I'm, I had I had connections with some people. I never asked nobody for a feature. I don't really, you know what I mean. Some some of my songs is like me doing solo songs, mm -hmm. cause I I knew I had to gain my way to some for, for right. people to respect and the fact that I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So whatever came, it came organically. It came natural. Like it came like yo, what's up? You want to do a track? Right. And I was like, and that's how pretty much it works out. You know what I mean? Nice. Cause if you work on yourself more than if you work on yourself first and work on cre yeah. creating yourself you as an artist, yourself first before like reaching out. Yeah, you gotta start with yourself. Throw yourself out. See where you're trying to go with it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Nice. So what about your EP that you have? Tell me about what you know. What kind of vibe are you trying to put out for people to like you know to get out of your EP? Well, when I first dropped when I <clears throat> when I dropped my EP, I was originally supposed to just come out with my LP. When I took the EP out to see what kind of um, see what kind of life everybody's gonna nice. get from it, you feel me? So I was like, let me just start with four songs, five songs, sign, put it out there, let me see if I'm going the right direction. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> I got some feedback. You know what I mean? I got a lot of good quality videos. I don't really like to play with the videos and, and do bump and do shit stuff that's not good. So yeah, my sure you have the way, work yeah, like if you look at all my videos, you look at my um my my content, you gonna I I, I take time. I, Spend good money on my videos. You okay. And how about the album that you have coming out? What can you like? You know, everybody expect for that. Right now, when I left, I dropped my tape in 2016, and I turned myself in 2016 in September. So when I dropped my LP, I didn't really had time to promote it like that. Okay. And when I was in, as soon as I turned myself in, I was getting a lot of um. You know how your stuff is doing. So when I was inside. Everybody was trying to tell me like this record that. We had the record that we got with me, Jack Queen, and Boogie was getting a lot of likes, mm -hmm. and everybody was fucking with the record, and they it drew a lot of attention to my LP. Mm -hmm. So people was looking in, they was checking in, and I didn't give them everything that I wanted to give them on showing them what that LP was really about. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna redrop the LP, put some a couple new songs on there, but leave majority of the content that's on there, and um. We we dish it out on a reload tip. Like we're gonna call it the LP to re up and then we just gonna go from there. Oh nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, this is a random question, but how many tattoos do you have and do they have like any significant importance to you? Well, I ain't really got too much. I got you know, a right? They always have like mad tattoos. So I, wanna get my, face, I'm like, I was gonna go crazy while I was up in the spot, but I didn't, you know. And then I mean? for like just the look, like you just like the tattoos are is it like you have like each tattoo you get it's like this is this is for this yeah. purpose this is for that purpose well <clears throat> when i when i first well i got these these is just my, my tbm set you know what i mean the bronx i got my family over here but when i got all these tattoos has me and, and, that, and that's the reason why i don't probably have a lot of tattoos because i don't just want to tag anything on my body okay you know what i mean yeah. but that that brings that's the creativity of it all mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so you just gotta 
You know what I mean? Some people just throw anything on their body yeah. and they're trying to look dope. When you put yeah. everything together, you got like a collage, like a yeah. whole bunch of shit. But I'm going to get to it, though. you probably see me next year. Probably I'm like, what's that for? Up. What's this for? <laughs> yeah, nah, this is like, when I started to be a rapper and I'm like, my name is Fat Boy Izzo. And I'm Where do you get that name from? Fat Boy Izzo. Well, Fat Boy is self-explanatory, you know. Izzo. <laughs> the Izzo. The Izzo is from the streets. Like, that was just my handle, you know what I'm saying? So, everybody knew Izzo. They just named me Fat Boy Izzo part. So, it was like, yo, Izzo, I'm just Fat Boy Izzo. So, I'm like, Izzo, I need to get a rap name. I'm like, Fat Boy Izzo, I'm going to just run with that. And when I said I was going to run with it, I just decided to tie it on my hands. And that's what I did. Okay. And I stamped myself and I said, I'm never going to work with nobody other than myself. You feel me? I, I definitely. And that's how that, that worked. Yeah. All right, so what artists have you worked with or some artists that you want to work with? I'm not going to lie. I'm a big... Well, right now, we I work with my boy, Jacquay, yeah, and I work so with A Boogie. Everybody know that. You Fred know what I'm saying? Seven the video. Fred the Godson, that's the bro. That's his family love right there. And then... Um, <clears throat> I don't. T I'm trying to tell you. I don't. I don't really reach out too much for features, and I should. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how you grow yourself. You know what I mean? But expand. Yeah. But I want people to. I wanted to come organically. You feel? I wanted to come natural. I wanted to yeah. come like, yo, we in the area. Yo, let, I, they respect my music, and we gonna get it in. Right. I'm a real big fan. We was I was supposed to do something with Kevin Gates. You know what I mean? Before he got. Before I got locked up. Um, we was in talks with that, but then I got bagged and. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really a big fan of Gates. You know, shout out to Free Gates. You know what I mean? Free Gates. That's the bro right there. Real stand up dude. Like his work ethic, everything. I just I'm not gonna lie, I look at I look at a lot of look at a lot of his a lot of his stuff. Okay. And I kinda like, you know what I mean, I build off of it. And, you know what I mean? He's a good mentor with a lot of that shit. You know what I mean? He keeps it all the way on it. Okay, so that's somebody that you look up to. So who are some other people that you look up to? You know, Black um, History Month is coming up. Soon, that's a so fact. That's a fact. Yeah, we wear that. We going with Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. That's a fact. Yeah. So who are some people that you look up to? I got um, pretty much Gage. I like Ross. You know what I'm saying? I like the whole fat boy thing. Thing. You know what I'm saying? I like all that. And then he's just like the bro. I like the friend work. Okay. But see, even like even when I had a, even when I got my music, even when I started rapping, I didn't even ask Fred for for a song. Okay. Cause I just wanted him to respect me as an artist before mm -hmm. me just saying do something with me because I'm right. your brother. Cause he was at his his you know what I mean. When I started rapping, he was moving around. So I'm yeah. like, one day he's like, yo, you want to do a song? And I'm like, nice. and you want to? Like I'm down. If you want to do it, like, mm -hmm. and it just worked out like that. You feel me? Okay, yeah. cool. Well, a lot of people don't realize is. The hard work is going. The hard work is going. Is going. Is going to work better than the music. You feel me? Like it's so crazy. Like there's no system to this music shit. Most of the time, like mm -hmm. it's like if you put OD hard work into your music, I don't give a fuck if it's trash. It's gonna go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Cause it's, all they gonna see is you. Okay. They gonna see your grind. They gonna respect them more than anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just feel like with my shit, I'm. I feel like my shit is dope. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's my shit. That lit. song, come on, like, what, like, what was the backstory with that? Because you know, speaking about like a lot of things. Yeah. Oh uh, well, the backstory with the come on track was um, I had did a um, D stacks, mm -hmm. the one I produced um, all pretty much all um, a boogie beast that's that everybody heard the my shit, the vacation. Mm -hmm. He was me and him, me and D stacks, me and um, a boogie got the same producer. You okay. know what I'm saying? So me and D stacks always worked. He was. I came out with a song called Been On It and when I first when I first started working with D when I first started working with D Stacks, I was working with him with the TBM. Okay. You know, so when I started doing music, I had all his beats in my computer. Oh. I don't I yo, shout out to all the producers that show love, shout out to all the producers that, that, that do work and I don't take it but I got so much connect with producers that I don't really you know what I mean? I got yeah. an understanding with them. And then I got my producers that I deal guys. with. He got the connects. I got my producers that I deal with and they show love and we work together. Like it's not really like they know they give me a beat, I'm gonna put my time, I'm gonna put my money into it, and we're gonna build it up and I'm gonna okay. try to take the stone to where it need to be. You feel me? So I don't really like just just grab one to any beat or Somebody trying to come at me, trying to give me the vibe beats, you know what I mean? Like, like I got that beats on Zach. Yeah, it's not like, I, I, was, I tell everybody, like, I respect yeah. your crap, I respect what you're doing, yeah. but I got I got my set of producers. Yeah. Now, if you want me to, um, if you want to give me a beat, beat. And, we could, and we could work something out, right. you know what I mean? We could do a collab, because 
I'ma put if this song is dope and I recorded it, I'ma put my I'ma put time and money into it. And that's if the record gotta go somewhere, it gotta go somewhere, you feel me? Nice. Well, so what is like what what are one of the biggest things that you have learned throughout your throughout your life in your music career? Um, you gotta just keep on pushing no matter what happens. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like that's pretty much. And once I started doing music, um, a lot of, I started seeing a lot of shit for what it is. Mm -hmm. I started seeing how I see how the industry moves. Mm -hmm. I see how um, it pretty much work and. You gotta just put it, keep on pushing. You feel me? Like you wanna go to downtowns. I done came out. I done went in, came out, kept on doing music. Went back in, came out. I'm still doing my music, and right. I'm not going back in. Like this is it. You know what I'm saying? So, track with him, trying to do a, like a whole tape, and I was like, whatever you wanna do, Stacks, because you always look out for me. If you're working with him, I'm willing to work with him too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So we did that one song, and he had left. He came to the studio two more times, three more times. He had went. Next you know, he started bubbling. Mm -hmm. Next you know, he was gone. He was gone. He started winning, man. Shout out to the dude, A Boogie. Real stand up yeah. cat. You know what I'm saying? He kept it 100. You know what I mean? So we had just did that. And I'm quite sure if I was home and probably still in the future, like if everything worked out, you know what I mean? Everything's going to work out. No, that's a fact. Okay. We could have got a video, but right. I wasn't home, so it's like. Yeah, but you are now, so that's what matters. That's a fact. That's a fact. But yeah, and Jacque, oh yeah, Jacque wanted to get on the song, so when he got on the song, it was like, and that song got on the radio right before I left. Like, it got on the radio, Juski was the first person to play it. Shout out to the mm -hmm. 7 Juski. You know what I'm saying? He was the first person to play it, and we played it, and I went in like two days later. The next thing you know, they was telling me, yo, this shit got 400,000 on Spotify. Yo, we got a million dollars on Spotify. Every, every month, it's like, a, we were catching like a million streams a month, you feel me? It was just like, that was like a blessing. Like, open up a lot of doors. Open up a lot of doors for me. And I just pre appreciate everything and everybody for working on it. Right. So, do you have like some family members who like, are like, mm, I don't know about you in this career. Like, I'm kind of scared for you. I don't want you to like, you know, yeah. do this right now. I want you to do something else with yourself. It comes together. Like, it, you don't even get that only from family members. You're going to get that from people that surround you yeah. sometimes. It's just, just only because... It takes a lot of time. I'm not going to lie. You can't be half-assed with this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to do it, you got to really put in time. All that being a rapper for 30 minutes and being a rapper for mm -hmm. two months, seeing how it works. Yeah. What's going to really get you to the top is seeing getting shut down. You know what I mean? The more you get shut down, the, the more you know the business, yeah. the more you're willing to keep on grinding. You know what I'm saying? And it takes a lot. That's all it is. A lot of people, because you know why they don't see it. But if you see it, it's gonna work out. Off the you see it, like you know what I mean. It's not in your face, but it's gonna work out. Right. You know what I mean. And the longer you believe and keep it going, it's gonna work out. Nice. I'm a real, I'm on something like I know how it's gonna be. Right. And I like your jewelry. I see you rocking like the gold, the yeah, diamonds, and all of that. You got the the grill. What you call them? The grills. My grills. I bought these in Texas. I was in South by Southwest, and he's like, "Yo, you want some grills?" I said, "Maybe I could do that." I bought some, some grills. grills. You know I bought some like little grills on the bottom. Tax like, on South. Tax. He was up in um South by Southwest. He did a little prank. Oh, okay. Sent those in. I'm like, oh, this is dope. So where are some places that you want to travel to? Like you know. Put your music out there. What what fan base do you want? Um, to like? mm. my fan. I'm really more of an out of town cat. Like I I I got so used to going out of town all the time. Cause I I'm, I'm I'm always out of town. I like going out of town. Like being in New York is New York is gonna be here. And I love New York. Wait, where are you from? You from the Bronx? I'm from the Bronx. Okay. Bronx, New York. Okay. And I'm saying that's me. It's okay. <laughs> nah, but um, I like being in New York. New York is good, but you know. The love, it ain't always good. I was gonna like, ask you that too, like the love out here versus like being like love. Out, you get so I much other, you get so much love other places, and yeah. it's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe people it just want to see. It is something wrong with that. How it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. But you I can't. I can't get love in my hometown. Yeah, but need to learn this is if you, you make it in New York, you make it anywhere. That's what yeah, they say. But true. you know what I mean? So that right there, the, the tough pain that New York gives makes people a better artist when they go other places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta look at for what it is. Don't, don't, this is not, I'm telling you right now, this whole entertainment business thing is not, uh, uh, is not a place, it's not a thing that you can catch feelings in. Right. 
Mm. Everything is just business, man. Mm -hmm. It's nothing personal. Like, you gotta understand, I gotta do what's right for my people that's with me, and you gotta do what's right with your people that's for you. Like, nice. so if you're telling me, asking me to do something for you, and I just can't do it, cause I, I can't, I gotta worry about the people that's around me before mm -hmm. I could worry about taking care of you. Right. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, this is all, it's nothing personal with this shit. It be straight business. You know what I mean? And you gotta think about, like, I, since I've been home, I've had so many people reach out to me to come to certain events and do certain things, and I'm, I'm on parole right now, so I can't really do mm -hmm. too much. And it puts the toll, you know what I mean? But at the same time... How long do you have to be on parole for? Only for a year, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, that's going like, to go by like a breeze. It's already going in my head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can only, like, you can only, you want to do his best, you know what I mean? You want to do his best for you, like, you know what I'm saying? You want to do his best for the people that's around you. That's the best thing you can do, because the people that's around you, you going to make sure you're good. You, know? right. you, you can't, you, you can't have them do outstanding, stupid shit. Mm -hmm. Talking about, I'm trying to take care of my men. No, take care of me, take care of us. Right. Before you take care of them. You know what I'm saying? We important. Like, we doing this shit. This right. is us. Like, they going to be there and if they don't understand it, then they not here to understand it. Because they not here when we in the trenches. Mm -hmm. So that's how I look at it. Like, you know what I mean? So, I'm more, I'm more for that. Like, if you wasn't here when I was doing this shit, like, grinding it out, I know you need me right now, but I don't, you know what I mean? You wasn't here. Yeah. I got to see what my people just want. Like, we all about that. Right. You know what I mean? I'm one of those type of cats. Okay, do you want to move out of New York or do you want to like go somewhere else? Like once you off parole, you like I'm gonna be out, I'm gonna be going here, I'm gonna be there. Nah, that's the that's the goal. The goal is to keep the best thing. Don't stagnate. I tell people that's in New York, like New York is gonna be here. Don't stagnate in your city. Even if you live yeah, in Atlanta, love don't New stagnate. Yeah, people like I'm in, I'm in New York forever, which is cool. You know, you everybody know, has their own. You don't want to you don't want to put yourself in one spot like yeah. and say yo I'm popping out here. Especially not the entertainment business. You want to like I like to I like to travel. Like I be going to South by Southwest on the regular. That's my thing. I nice. like to go there. I go to all the. All I want to go there, so I'm ready to. But yeah, okay. You want to come with us? Yeah. This is gonna be a crazy ass week. I want to go. You want to fuck with it? Nah, you don't want to come out there. We it get it get crazy out there. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's it gets crazy out there. <laughs> 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 nah, but um, yeah, like I'm big fan. I go to South by Southwest and music, man. I like going out of town. I like to. I like to travel. I'm one of them okay. travel. Me boys, too. You know what I mean? I got family out in Florida, so I go there on the regular. You okay. know what I'm saying? When I can, and then um. New York is gonna be here when I get back. See, the exactly. internet is giving you a way to reach out to people without oh, even Lord. being there, mm -hmm. and then you can actually gain up your your fan base. That's a fact. And when you gain that fan base, just shoot out there. It's nothing to get up on a plane, just go. Like mm -hmm. it's only a ticket for like whatever right. money. Like we was just in Japan last time. You know what I'm saying? Japan. Japan. You know, in Tokyo, and that was dope. You know what I mean? I, so I'm you trying know, to like reach out. Japanese and Japanese, you know. I know. I, I got a couple Japanese friends. Shout out to my boy DJ Matrix. Like, okay. I I got a couple people that I deal with inside of Japan too. You know what I mean? I'm trying to touch that circuit over there. Like, it's like New York is gonna be here. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. New York is gonna be here. Right. Like, we live. So but, what can, what else can we expect from you? Like, what are some things that you want people to know? Your fans to know? What can they expect from you? Listen. And also, what what. What do you want them to get from like your music, like your music period? Is there a message that you want them to get? My music, my music gives off a good message. My music gives off struggle. My music gives off a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. I got them songs that, you know what I mean, I might be, you know what I mean, playing and, you know, I'm probably bottle here and there, but mm -hmm. majority of my music, when you listen to my tape, I've been through a lot of shit, you right. know what I'm saying? So, I talk about it. What I'm going through, I'll be talking about it. You're going to feel it. You're going to understand it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying, but it's just like, that's what it, I get to pick, I give people a message like, yo, watch out, you know what I mean? Take care of what's going on, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, don't worry about it, it's going to be all right. This is the type of shit that happens if you do this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's your man like that. Mm -hmm. Let me show you that's your man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got tracks on the go and gotta get it. You know what I mean? Like, all them type of shit. Been on it. Motherfucking, um, Play the Wind is one of my good ones too. Talk about a lot of real shit in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what, and what do you want them to expect from, like, you know, what, what other stuff are you gonna have coming out? I got my tape coming out. Do you have like any undercover like 
Peaches, you want to be having some like anything like that? I got some working out. I'm storming up some with my boy Juicy right now. You know okay. what I'm saying? Hopefully everything works out. We lit. You know Hopefully what I'm saying? Hopefully everything works out. We can go up. Nah, guys. it's going to work out. We must have. I was just eating with my boy. He's okay. chilling here. We got it. You know? Nice. You know what I mean? I got a couple people that reached out. I'm reaching out. You know what I mean? The play is kind of different. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? They respect it just a little bit more. You know what I mean? It's just real good. You know, when, when, when people start respecting your craft, because that's what you work for. You work for the people who respect your craft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You out here doing this, and the next thing you know, they're like, oh, this shit went crazy. You want her over here. Yeah. And you just like, once it start really working, yeah. then it put titty out. You know what I'm saying? It works out. You know right. what I mean? It's going to work out. You know what I'm saying? So I got a couple situations on the table. I'm trying to make it work. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what we're going to do. A lot of spec, a lot of visuals for me. There's going to be a lot of visuals, a lot of vlogs. I'm doing a lot of some interviews. I got to do 105.1 um, in another two weeks. Nice. We were supposed to do it on Sunday, but it got switched, so mm -hmm. two weeks, you know what I mean? So nice. I got some stuff on the table I'm pushing for, you know what okay. I mean? Nice. So is there anything else that you want like your fans to know that I probably didn't ask you? Anything about yourself that you really want them to know? Any other like talents that you may have? You know, would you ever get into acting? Any like crazy um, stuff like that? Any um, businesses you want to promote? Yeah. Okay. Nah, um, <laughs> nah I'm gonna listen, go to Fatboy Izzo, you know what I'm saying? Go to my website, Fatboy Izzo. <laughs> it's Fatboy Izzo. Go to fatboyizzo.com, you can check us out. You know what I mean? A lot of content. Fatboy Izzo on Instagram, TBM Izzo on Twitter, Fatboy Izzo on Facebook. Um, you can just go check YouTube. us out. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Check out my Fat Boy Is a Vivo. I got this shit on Apple Music, Amazon, I didn't get to Google, see streaming. streaming. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff. Every, I'm not going to lie. If you check any network, I'm out there. Yeah, Google is name. You know stuff what I mean? Pop up. I'm out there. Definitely out there. You know what I mean? It's TVMO, everything. Black World of Family. You know what I mean? So, you know what it is. Stay tuned to Love and Fashion, the red carpet interview. Check us out on www.lnfpix.com. It's your girl, it. Big Dreamer. Talk Stay about tuned. It. Hey, hey, what up? It's your boy, Fast Boy Izzo. Check my interview out on Love and Fashion with Sexy Danielle. Come on, you rock it. Right, talk about it. The felt the ground when I touched down, now let me out the cage. Let me out the cage. Long dreams, nigga, long nights about being on stage. Being on stage. 365 days. Yeah. Three years just to be exact, nigga. P.O., yeah, they all the nigga.